Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing my FabFitFun quarterly or seasonal lifestyle subscription box for the spring 2023 season. So if you're unfamiliar with FabFitFun, they are going to be a quarterly lifestyle subscription box that has a ton of different goodies that you can get. But I will have all the information and pricing down below as well as a referral code in case you are interested. And if you love subscription boxes like I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and dive into this box. So when you open the box, there is some more filler, but I did already take that stuff out. But there is a ton going on in this box, as you can see. And this box is really cute on the outside. It has a ton of cakes on it. And then on the inside, it has like birthday candles and squigglies and things like that, because I believe this is one of their like anniversary birthday type of celebration boxes. Let's see. Yes. So it says 10 years of fab fit fun, which is crazy that they've been around for 10 years. So if you do want to learn more about the products in the box, there's a little QR code that you can scan. They used to include like a little magazine, but I'm not seeing one this time around. And you do have a chance to win up to $10,000 with this little scratch off. So I will have to give this a try. There is also a little advertisement for HelloFresh in here, which they seem to include that every single season. But now for the goodies. So for choice number one, there were a lot of different items that you could choose from. And they were the cooler backpack in summer citrus or marine blue, the bedside carafe set, the coach apple watch strap, the Kate Spade Samantha sunglasses, the Amica shampoo and conditioner bundle, the Emmeline sunglasses from Kate Spade, a Fenty Beauty eye gel cream type of product, a gel cream moisturizer, and then some sort of eye lift. They did also have a mystery product. And for this choice, I was interested in a couple different items. So I was really interested in the Kate Spade sunglasses and also the backpack cooler because my husband and I had one and it just recently the zipper broke so I knew we needed a new one. And because I couldn't choose, I did end up getting both. So if you are interested in items in certain categories, you can pay additional money to get an item. For category one, each item was an additional $15. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this out because this is like super condensed in this packaging. Okay, they really like packaged this in here. But here is what the backpack cooler looks like. I will be honest and say I was expecting it to be a lot larger. So definitely a little bummed out about this. Let me try and kind of puff it up a little bit more. All right, so here it is. Definitely not a huge one at all. Honestly, this looks kind of child sized if I'm going to be completely honest. I'll still get use out of it though, but it is definitely a smaller backpack. It does have the cooler capability on the inside, which is nice. Has a little front zip pocket as well. What is this? Just a little information about the brands. No little pockets on the side. It is cute. Again, this would be good if you're like going to the beach or a picnic just to pack a small lunch. But I'm used to having like an all day cooler where I could stick a ton of cans of salsa in it. My husband can stick sodas. We could stick both of our lunches and things like that. And I just, I feel like this is more of a one person bag, but it is still really cute nonetheless. And for the sunglasses, I decided to go with the Emmeline ones. Emmeline, Emmeline, however you pronounce it. It comes in a nice green dust bag. And these are kind of like the Ray-Ban Aviator type of sunglasses. So they're very cute. I do like them a lot. I'm not used to this color. I am really used to kind of like black sunglasses, but I'm still really excited about these. And again, to get these for $15, that is an amazing price. So I just realized I'm talking and this is totally still sticking in my hair from the sunglasses. But anyway, we are going to move along. So choice number two had a ton of different items as well. And you could have gotten the Poreless Deep Exfoliating Scrub from Tula, the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads and Bump Eraser Body Duo, the Ribbed Glasses, a set of four plates in various prints. There was a solid one and then a printed one as well. There was a diffuser kit, a birthday candle, some placemats, another skincare product from Tula, some sort of brightening treatment drop of vitamins from Tula, the planner bundle then they also had like a pajama lounge set in various sizes the commodity gold expressive fragrance or a mystery choice and as far as i'm concerned that was like 50 products in one i was kind of interested in the sugar scrub by tula but i knew it wasn't an item that i really needed let's see i was also interested in the placemats but i feel like i could probably get something similar at like home goods or something like that 
Um, so I did decide to go with the pajama lounge sets bundle. I wasn't sure on the size to get because their sizes were kind of like small, medium, and then large, extra large. I feel like I'm definitely a medium. Sometimes I could be borderline a large if I want it like to be a little bit more comfy. So I was a little bit nervous. I did go with the small, medium, and looking at it now, I feel like it's definitely going to work. If you're somebody who's like an extra small, small though, I don't think this would work for you and they didn't have a size like that, unfortunately. They do feel very nice. There are no pockets kind of has like that tie waist and then here is the top as well definitely comfy cozy I hope this shade doesn't like blend in too much but these are really nice pajamas I feel like they're a little bit on the warmer side but I do live in Florida so maybe these would be like a good like fall winter type of like lounge short set moving right along to choice number three you could have gotten the two-piece berry bowl sets, a sprinkles tumbler, a Kate Somerville face wash, a lift volume spray, some sort of ice roller, another type of cleanser from Kate Somerville, a brightening dark circle eye cream, the hit products in our place bundle, or the panty pack in various sizes. So they had standard and plus. They did also have the two face waterproof liquid liner, a mystery item, and then two Pat McGrath lipsticks in various shades. So initially I was interested in a couple items. I did have all the items in my basket at one point just so I had time to decide. I did really like the Pat McGrath lipsticks. I do not own any lipsticks like that, but I have so many lipsticks I did not want to be wasteful. The berry bowls were very cute, but I do already own Radon berry bowls that I got on like TJ Maxx or HomeGoods or something like that. So I want the practical item for me, and that is going to be the panties, as they are calling them here. So I did just go with this standard size. There's the blue pair and the pink pair. Pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to leave it at that. They are one size, which is a little bit bold of a choice, if you will. But I feel like years ago, Victoria's Secret had a ton of like one size types as well that they had for the purchase so I figured I'll just give this a try hope for the best I would really like some neutral shades but these are very pretty shades too so I will still get some use out of them continuing on with choice number four this would be the last item that you could customize if you were a quarterly subscriber but you could have gotten the Corez Greek olive body cream the Ahava shower gel the silicone baking cups the Amica overnight hydration treatments product, the spoon rest, the ombre necklace, the Fenty Beauty portable contour and concealer brush, a mystery item, or some gel sculpt contour in various shades. And for this choice, I wasn't really blown away by anything, but I did decide to go with the item from Ahava because this is a really good brand and I always go through a ton of shower gel. So it's their Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel in Sea Kissed. It's 6.8 fluid ounces. It is sealed, but I am curious to see what this smells like. So let's see. Ooh, this is very nice. It almost has like a beachy type of like fresh scent to it. I really like this. This will definitely last me a long time. It's a non-drying shower gel that revives the skin, leaving it fresh and supple. Okay, so I'm very excited about this. This is a really good scent as well. So this was a really great choice for me. All right, so moving on to the next two choices, you are only able to customize if you are an annual subscriber. If you're quarterly, FabFitFun randomly chooses for you, but you could have gotten the True and Luscious Lipstick, the Barefoot Scientist Foot Care Bundle, the Build Your Own Bracelet from Bubble Bar, the eco-friendly headband, a Grace and Stella hot and cold gel bead sleep mask, the NCLA birthday cake sleep mask. There was also an item from Earth Harbor. It was a nut cream and then they had a mystery choice as well. So for this choice, I wasn't super blown away again by a lot of the items. So I'm pretty sure I already own the foot care bundle. I know for sure I already have the hot and cold sleep mask from Grace and Stella. I think I got it in a Therabox. I do already have the lip sleeping mask again. I got it in a Therabox. So I want the item that I felt like I would get the most use out of and that was the item from Earth Harbor. This is their neck cream. So it's two fluid ounces. I do like the Earth Harbor brand a lot. So I figured this would be a safe choice. 
Here is the packaging. Comes in a nice glass bottle. It's hard to tell, but it's almost like this really subtle light blue color. Here is what it looks like. Does it smell like anything? Ooh, okay. Kind of has a scent to it. Don't really know how to describe it. It's almost like, like a fresh skincare type of scent. Hopefully this ends up being a really good item, but again, I do really like this brand a lot. And then last but not least for customization number six, you could have gotten the Summer and Rose Roundy, the Press on Nails in the shade Creamer, the Hydrating Serum with Green Tea, an item from the New Co. It looks like it's some sort of hair products. The Skin Quick Fix and Chill Mask and Scrub. The Good Patch Rise and Shine Set. There was also an Extreme Mascara and Lash Primer from Honest Beauty. There was a Body Serum. Another sort of bundle that had some beauty items in it. The FabFitFun Fanny Pack. And then the Mystery Choice. So this was another category where I wasn't super blown away by anything. But there were a couple items that I could have gone with. So I was considering the hydrating serum. I was also considering the body serum and then the roundy. But I did decide to go with the roundy just because I don't have one and I do live in Florida. I go to the beach all of the time. So here is what it looks like. I'm not going to open the whole thing, but it is a nice orange color. It kind of has like that microfiber type of towel feel to it. I feel like I did have something maybe similar to this or like a ton of like towel like material items. But I feel like Hurricane Ian kind of, I don't think I've mentioned this too much, but Hurricane Ian, when it hit Southwest Florida, the eye was about like 20 minutes from my house. So it completely blew off the entire patio lanai structure. So a lot of towels that I had out on the patio were completely damaged. So anyway, to make a long story short, I figured this would be a really good item for me to have. Hey, s'mores. And then very quickly before I end this unboxing, I do have some add-on items. So I do have another one of the air purifier replacements. If you watched my winter unboxing, I did receive two packs of this, but I was able to go down to one pack to accommodate the air purifier that I received, I believe, in my fall box or was it my summer box? And then I did also add on this Zoella face mask applicator. So this was originally $29.99. It was on sale on the add-ons for $2.99. So definitely a great price with free shipping just to throw in my box. But overall, that is going to bring me to the end of this unboxing. And I am pretty happy with the items that I received and the FabFitFun assortment overall. I will say I feel like this box is leaning a little bit more towards summer than it is spring. But I'm okay with that. I'm very happy. But I would love to know your thoughts. So please comment down below. Let me show this box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.